Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to use Share Data Set in a Report Builder to create our report. In last video, we have created a Share Data Set and deployed to the Report Server. Share Data Set is a result set returned by your query that can be select query or a store procedure and from which you think that can be used in multiple reports. So don't be confused with the Share Data Source. Data Source is the pointer to the database and data set is the result set returned by the query so now let me take you to the report builder in the report builder we can go to the this button and click new and then start a blank report and once we are here we can go ahead and right click on the add data source and then provide the name i'm going to call this one d set sorry ds sales and i will be using the data source from report server so if you go here in the report manager uh, i'm using uh, reports uh, underscore sql 2014 uh, so this is pointing uh, to my reporting server that's uh, sql 2014 uh, and uh, i'm connected to the report server by, server by using a uh, report manager so we will be using uh, the same server let me go back to the report builder and here they are already available because we have used them in other reports so if you would like to use from here fine if you want to browse and get the new one from your report server you can get there so if in case we have another data source we would like to use we can go ahead and select that one in this case i'm going to use the ds sales hit open why i'm using this one because the shared data so set in my case this is data set i have deployed to the report and this is using ds sales so that's the data source i would like to use because my data set that is shared and that's deployed to the report is using this data source so let's go back and in the report we are using this one hit okay now in the data sets right click add data set now instead of adding a, a data set and embed in the report i would like to use the shared one so i'm going to call this one d set sales sorry and use a data set sorry use a shared data set and i have to browse and point to the data set i would like to use in my reports uh, reporting server i have data sets folder and that's where my shared data set is it's called the set sales so you can open it once you click here you will see all the fields related to this data set so we have options and everything and if there are parameters involved with this data set you will see them but right now it's simple select query so hit ok and we are all set to create our report so i'm going to call this one uh, sale report now we can create matrix report we can create table report we can create chart report any type of report can be created so let's go to insert and then select whatever you would like to do or we can come to the this design area right click and say insert and then select the table or a matrix in this case we are going to cre create a table report so salesperson first name salesperson last name product name and country that's all i care about so I'm going to go to the home again and then uh, make it bold, change the background color for header row. And now we are all set. Our report is created. And uh, let's run the report. So you see that uh, if you are using the same query for multiple reports, uh, let's say if I would like to create the chart report in another report and use the same uh, total sale uh, table so i i can go ahead and use this data set so in cases where you are creating multiple reports from same data set it's a good idea to create a shared data set and deploy it to the report server and then from there your users can create multiple reports or different type of reports this is all good now we need to save this report hit save and it's going to open on the report server so in the recent sites and server, that's where we can see that where we want to deploy. I would like to deploy to SQL 2014 because that's where my shared data set exists and my data source. So I would like to go ahead and deploy to the sales reports and I'm going to call this one shared DS sale. 
and save you can save this report to other reporting server as well but uh, then maybe you have to do some configuration the shared data set has to be there and uh, also the data source uh, that shared data set is using that should be there as well so let's go to the report manager and take a look so it is still working on a deployment so you see it is loading and all that so let's wait for a couple of seconds and uh, we should have that very soon let's come to the sales reports and as of now we see only one report other report uh, should be loaded or deployed or published uh, there pretty soon my computer is a little slow and uh, that's one thing now let me show you one more thing while it is working on that one if you open uh, uh, this shared this this is the report I already have uh, created by using shared data set if you open uh, this report and go to manager and you will see a shared data set for this report any other reports which are not using a shared data source sorry shared data set you will not see that tab so if you click here in area report you will see data source but you do not see shared data set so any report which is using shared data set you will see that so let's go to sale reports and now we have both reports there so one of the uh, the last one we created and deployed is called shared DSS sales. If I go back here and go to manager, I should see which data source it is using. So it is using DSS sales. That's correct. And shared data set. We know that it is using D set sales shared data set. So that's great. We can go ahead and now run this report. And our report is coming just correct. We have the names and a sale person first name and last name in two rows but we can correct that if we would like to go back and give some more space we can give some more space here and uh, this is all good we can hit save again and now it is quick this time we go back and refresh and we will see the changes right away product name is also not correct uh, it's coming on two lines rows or lines whatever you call that I hit now next uh, this is good now that's uh, pretty much it uh, i would not spend a whole lot of time on this one and uh, deploy to other uh, folders uh, and uh, <laughs> other servers uh, but uh, that's very simple uh, you have to have a shared data set uh, in the report server uh, and from there you can go to simply your uh, report builder uh, connect to the data source uh, your data set is using and then uh, use the shared data set uh, and create your report thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video